Welcome back to Cars and Guitars. It's New Guitar Day. You might be wondering why I'm in the garage as well. So I seen Epiphone was releasing a couple of new Firebirds. Awesome, I thought. Might grab one of those. Then I seen the price. When I came to, I thought, I ain't paying dang near three grand for a fancy custom color Epiphone. I'll do it myself. This is a brand new Epiphone inspired by Gibson. 1963 Screaming Chicken. Trans Am Turbo, you got the Screaming Chicken. Nope, it's a Firebird and this was actually hard to find. I had to get it from overseas. And by that, I mean the magical land of Tasmania. For all you overseas viewers, Tasmania is a little island far, far away. A bit like Australia. It's Australia's Australia. Anyway, I'm not even going to plug this in. You can see where we're going with this. Let's get to pulling it apart. in here electronics I am very excited that the pickups are on a quick connect system I was not looking forward to getting the soldering iron out I've also got CTS pots and big old orange drop capacitors this is some quality wiring Epiphone you're the squire of Gibson I like you this is a true neck through as well and by that I mean the neck and this whole center section are one piece of wood made from nine different pieces of wood over on the front, you can see this as well. It's kind of clearer in our pickup routes. Got some Zodiac Killer sign in here and QR code in this one. I just scanned this and it took me to an Aussie Music Store's website. Not the one I got the guitar from. Again, this middle section is all neck and body and the sides or wings are glued on to complete the shape. Let's get back to it. Yeah, get in here and learn something. You want to pull these stud bushings out Get something to protect the body and then get a little bit of pipe wider than the stud and you put a washer on it and you can use the original stud or a bolt, I don't know, and you just you screw it in and you just you tighten it up and pulls it out. paint but I will convert this into the spray booth so how to get these cars out of the way
Team Tomato, it's, you know, the good old stuff. There's a reason they don't use it too much nowadays, so, you know, mask up. Beers. Well, not enough. It looks good. Real good. I'm going to let this dry overnight and then hit it with the heavy tint clear tomorrow. Then we'll just leave it be for a week to cure before we get to sanding and all the other good stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to age all the hardware a little bit and probably go play with some cars. I'm back. It's been a week. Had to let the nitro cure off before I can give it a wet sand. But yeah, Pelham Blue with a super heavy tinted aged clear coat. These things come up sweet. Plan is today, a bit of wet sand. Hopefully get through to a little bit of that sunburst underneath and start reassembling. I've already aged a few of the parts just a little bit and yeah only thing really left to do is the the pickups i want to get the strings back on so i can get those kind of cool pickup wear gunk line things in it but yeah we'll be playing this in a couple of hours <laughs> stretch. Oops, beer on it. They get beer on it. Just gonna put the knobs on, switch tip. Ah, I'm gonna change that to cream. Came with a black one, but I'm too sure. We'll see. Uh, a little bit extra, just sort of tidying, relicking, a few extra little nicks and dings, but yeah, for the most part, this thing, this thing looks sick. The grubby looking knob. Been called that before too. The old carby cleaner just eats into the plastic a little bit and gives it that kind of, I don't know how you describe it, smoky kind of dull look without sanding it. It's a, yeah, it's a good look. For all intents and purposes, we are done. Let's kind of see how this sounds.
I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do the bridge clean on the left and the neck clean on the right with a little delay and then we'll kick the right on over there as well. These are stock pickups and they sound absolutely amazing. This is probably my new favorite guitar. Let's try something else with a bit of distortion and some fuzz. Me and my evil twin are back. This time around, we've got the big muff in the left channel with a little bit of phase 90 in there. And in the right channel, it's just pure amp distortion. Enjoy. undeniable proof you do not need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get an awesome looking and sounding guitar just buy a cheaper one on some spray paint thanks for watching subscribe you've made it this far and stay tuned for plenty more